Recently added tile support in the app provides a new way to open the Bubble Clouds app drawer. I'll show you how to set it up. In the tile interface, long press one of the tiles to enter edit mode. And at the end, press the plus sign, Bubble Cloud shows up here now. Pressing the icon on this tile simply takes you to the Bubble Cloud app drawer. But we can do even better if we move this tile to the first position using the little arrows, then click on the lock to enable auto open mode. Simply swiping the watch face will take us to the app drawer directly. And if we exit the app drawer, we can move on to see our other tiles. Choose the vertical arrangement for the app drawer, which is ideal when using the tiles to access the drawer. The handles are gone. They no longer interfere with other apps. And when you swipe the screen, the app drawer shows up as before. But now we scroll up to see the archive cloud. Big advantage of this layout that you can swipe either right or left to exit without the need to scroll back to the favorites. When coming from another tile, it feels more natural to exit swiping in the opposite direction. If you're using Bubble Cloud as your watch face, the Bubble Cloud tile has a different function now. It lets you access the settings and it even has shortcuts to the various settings screens, such as the clock bubble configuration or the one-click themes. If you enjoy this progress, you can encourage my work by giving a five-star rating in the Play Store. Liking this video helps me get to more Wear OS users, and I promise to keep improving the app. Subscribe on YouTube to be amongst the first to hear about new features. I'm grateful for all your support.